Hi, my name's Bob, and I'm an aqua frolic. Hi, Hi Bob. Bob! Here's an aqua frolic that only a seal can enjoy. And, and why are you showing it to us? Really uh, I'm enjoying this. Am I a seal? A seal you did eat a bucket of herrings in third grade. Just give them an audience, a chance to perform, and some applause. And a blender, and some and cotton no balls, and an 82 degree angle, them. and they'll defeat the Layla Goddesses of Phobos! Nobody ever trained a porpoise, but judging by their ability to stand on their tails, they have possibilities. It's a terrible title for a self-help book. They're friendly, too. Dave Mattel's got a cautionary story about that we shan't repeat here. It's plain to see why saltwater fishermen hate to see porpoises appear. They yeah, because of the Dave Mattel story. Friendly dolphin. Nobody feeds this fellow. In fact, these swimmers are a little afraid they might feed him. The guy in the tank helmet? Tropical waters spawn big denizens of the deep. Their natural the affinity for turtles. forced perspective helps keep predators at bay. Or the ray, of which some species can inflict a dangerous wound with a sharp spine-like stinger near the base of the tail. This species is called Bumbly Death Pancake. Here's something even fish can't do. Literally anything that isn't underwater. swimming, eating, or crapping. It's a exciting game, especially in a struggle for the ball. Because the player who runs out of breath, runs out of luck. So where's the high-speed dramatic anime series for this sport? She scored Final Fantasy one. X. Ah. Now the ball is in play again. And while they can't bounce a dribble, they can float one. Insert fart joke here. And there's another basket. Her side wins. Women don't need names. Anything can happen in Wakulla Springs, Florida. As evidence by Nash's so Weekly, what the, the f*** is wrong with you, segment? thinking up new stunts. This time, it's a turkey dinner on the bottom of the lake. I love this guy, Australopithecus, sick that bird you apart. Haven't seen anything and it's yet. still less soggy and flavorless than what they serve at Golden Corral. This time, the cameraman asks you to believe too much. A sort of pipe dream. An act drawing a dire warning from the sturgeon. And after general. an underwater banquet, Oof. it's time for a little fresh air. I love you too, underwater weirdo. More aqua frolics, and the more the merrier with a fast motorboat. But it's well to know how to swim. Yeah, that's pretty good skill to have when large bodies of water, water are involved. These offer a fine means of frolic for the expert with real speed huh? essential to keep those skimmers on top of the water. This is how we'll all be going to work soon, thanks to the GOP's environmental policies. Imagine doing this, even on snow skis. Oh, wow, he's gripping he's it with his butt cheeks! <laughs> For here's a stunt few experts have ever accomplished. Uh, and this particular uh, expert is no exception. Oh, right in the aquabolics! One man's <laughs> defeat is another man's victory. Watch him. Just to prove it wasn't an accident, he makes it look just like another aqua frolic. Wait, have they defined the parameters of an aqua frolic yet? The cameraman gets an unusual shot, and here's the result. And ski bagging is born. Just to show what a breaking wave can do to a small boat. We killed that goes. poor schmuck. Yeah, this is now a snuff film. Deal with it. But here's a boat that can take it if they can just get past the breakers. This time they fail to make it. Depriving the children of the life-saving serum they carry. The Curse you, again. cruel Poseidon! Another try. Watch it leap half out of the water. <laughs> they are winning this time, and now in green water they're safe. That's the trick. Just get through the breakers, and there's nothing to it. Oh, is that all? Aqua frolics in the rapid river in Maine attract the daredevils. And the mayflies, and it's the carrion birds, and the organ harvesters. Waters. And it's a master of the sport who gets through some of the rapids without disaster. But these apprentices will nourish the crayfish fields. That fellow's in trouble. He remortgaged his house to invest in cryptocurrency. There he goes. Washing down the stream, gets the funniest looks from Trout and Carp and Breeze. It's wicked water in this part of the river, and few have ever gone through it right side up. The river always seems to win this game. 
And yet lifeguard extraordinaire Mitch Buchanan swims it easily to stop the evil claim jumpers after his estranged uncle's hidden treasure. Baywatch was weird, yo. From Maine to Florida, somebody is certain to be looking for a new thrill afloat. And the Battle of the Toboggans behind a speeding motorboat is a novel variation of aquaplaning. Mm -hmm. The idea is to upset the other crowd. They almost succeed. Mad Max Fury Boat. Witness me! <laughs> there they go, and that's what's known as the Battle of the Toboggans. Yeah, Peter Jackson left that one out of the movies. For the best. Of all the fun afloat, there's nothing so insane as the racing puddle jumpers. No rules, no disqualifications, and they get away with anything. Mostly because they're rich white men. Yeah, this shortcut weirdly Even aggressive all of a sudden. Of country is okay. If he had wings, he'd take off. And if he had a hammer, he'd Anything hammer in the morning. So do. what? Here's an obstacle race. Yeah, we Warning. set fire to the swamp. Go to hell, Nothing vital really ecosystem. Here they come to the finish, and it's just what might be expected of the puddle jumpers. Testosterone riddled ecological devastation. High diving into a pool is one thing, but from a 200-foot cliff, that is something else. Yeah, by definition, These yes. These Mexican swimmers would think nothing of doing a swan dive where angels would fear to fly. The slightest miscalculation, and he'd have his last headache. And I'd have a Pulitzer. High divers at carnivals are paid to do this, but these fellows do it just for fun. Except for that one guy who was looking for a one-armed man who shot his wife. The, uh. Hey, Starch, you ever stop and think about just how much media might be lost to Turtle-like any time we get one of these shorts that just cuts off? How all the monies and effort to produce entertainment is just wiped from existence, never again to be experienced by another living being, due to what might be mere carelessness or incompetence. Ugh, every time YouTube pulls out a new improvement, Jim. Every time. Hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, why don't you give us a like, or a subscribe, or leave a comment down there somewhere? You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision. This guy's anthro-astropolithic. Oh, I can't say that right now. <laughs> and yet, lifeguard extraordinaire Bitch, Mitch Buchanan swings... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch Buchanan. Bitch Buchanan. <sighs> uh, Starch, you ever think about just how much media might be lost eternal-like any time one of these gets... Oh, Let's try that again. Okay.